Well, it's the next morning and I'm over here on the board mill and we're getting ready to finish off the, uh, the two uh, gear couplings here. So all we got left is to put two set screws in it and I've already got these things li lined out, uh, scribed, I got it in line with the spindle. I've got sort of a homemade V-block set up here with my big parallels and I laid everything out just using everyday machinist squares and uh, rules, that kind of stuff. Got everything square and everything where we need to go. So we're gonna put one inch eight set screws in here. Let's see, got them over here. Got some one inch eight set screws. I'm gonna do some power tapping. This is an adapter that I had made quite some time ago. And I've got a few of these. These used to be big, um, shell reamers and what i had done me and my dad actually did these we we didn't ever use them so we cut them off because they fit the spindle here with the number five morse this used to be a two and three quarter and then just bore them for the tap see and the two set screws drive it and that's what we use the power tap right there makes it a little easier so that's what we're going to do pretty straightforward but always enjoyable to get to use this machine to do this kind of work. It just makes it so much easier. Tap size is 7 8, so I'm going to take the chuck out and use a taper shank drill. Take it out of spindle and use. Let's see. No, we're going to use spindle. Engage that to feed it. What I'm doing is breaking the chip. I'm gonna go ahead and install the tap driver now. <clears throat> Ideally, whenever you're through tapping like this, you you do want to use a spiral fluted gun tap. In this case I don't have a one inch eight spiral fluted gun tap I think I got one in my shop but I don't have one here but this will work it's just a four fluid hand tap but you it'll still work this one squared up I got the gearbox down in low gear, running around 30 RPM. 
believe it's 34. Trying to get a little oil coated on there. Now I'm going to use the spindle. I've had a lot of guys ask me how this works. The spindle is floating just like it would on a, a Bridgeport milling machine, the wheel. You know, you run it up and down when you're drilling. It's the same way. Once this tap catches this hole and it, start, it starts pulling itself in there. So I don't have the spindle engaged. It's just floating. It's pulling it in there. I'm just putting a little pressure on it to get it to start. All right, now it's pulling itself in there. I'm just gonna kind of work it and uh, break the chip every now and then just because it is a hand tap. I'll show you the, uh, the it's just floating. coming through the inside now. Go ahead and spin her around. I got my line here in here and my pointer. line it up with that line and make sure it's square against the V's back here. Just past it. Alright, that's right on it. Looking good. All right, so we'll go ahead and hmm. no, nope. I didn't have that. It got tight on me. Okay, so let's try that again. I didn't realize this snugged itself up. Okay. Now we're there. Go ahead and put a little A-bomb torque back on it. All right, and then we'll uh, repeat. Drill and tap.
Okay. All right, we made her all the way through. All my rags. Use a couple studs with a coupling nut.
one of our, uh, we got a visitor coming through the shop and my boss is uh, giving him the little tour. Okay, we got it lined back up. That line there. Okay, last tapped hole. Here we go. Bring it, bring it down a little bit. Coming through now. There we go. Cool thing about putting that one inch set screw hole in there is now I can screw in an eye bolt to lift this thing up. Makes it a little easier to get it off the table. So I need to I need to take it over there. I'm gonna do some filing. File the shop burr off there. Uh, deburr the inside and this will be done. Okay, we got them done. They're on the pallet ready to uh, strap down and they're gonna be delivered today. So this is our six and three sixteenths by one and a half keyway. And that one is our seven and three quarter with a two inch key. And then I'll show you what those fit in here. We'll walk over there and take a look at the other, because it's a two piece hub. All right, these are the other two pieces here. This is this is what they fit in. This is the outer, you know, the flange portion. And the other gear is inside here. And this acts like a seal where it gets uh, filled up with grease. I'll try to get you down in there so you can see. You see the gear in there? But that's the pair. Those are identical there.